Hello and welcome to Kitty Kitty English Stories YouTube channel. Today I am going to listen you a very very beautiful bedtime story. Before moving further, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss the story. Without any further delay, today our story about Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a kind-hearted girl named Cinderella. She had lost her parents when she was very young and was raised by her wicked stepmother and stepsisters. But despite their unkindness, Cinderella remained hopeful and optimistic. Every day, Cinderella would complete countless tasks around the house, scrubbing floors, cleaning dishes, and tending to the garden while her stepsisters lounged around lazily. Even though she was tired from her never-ending chores, Cinderella always had a big smile on her face and found joy in simple things like singing with the birds. One fine day, an invitation to the grand ball in the nearby kingdom arrived at their doorstep. It was Prince Charming's royal invitation that read, Every maiden in the kingdom is cordially invited to the royal ball tonight. The wicked stepmother and stepsisters were thrilled at the opportunity to attend such a prestigious event. They spent the entire day getting ready, fussing over their dresses, and practicing their dance moves. Cinderella, you stay at home and finish your chores, they said mockingly. Cinderella couldn't help but feel a pang of sadness deep inside. She had always dreamt of attending a royal ball, and now it seemed like her dream would remain unfulfilled. Sitting by the fireplace, she wiped away a tear and whispered to herself, I wish I could go to the ball, even just for a little while. Suddenly, a warm glow encircled her, and a kind fairy appeared before her. Do not despair, Cinderella, the fairy said. I am your fairy godmother, and I have come to grant your wish. Using her magical wand, the fairy godmother transformed Cinderella's simple dress into a stunning gown made of satin and pearls. On her feet, she wore delicate glass slippers that sparkled like stars. Remember, the fairy godmother warned, the spell will only last until midnight. Cinderella couldn't contain her excitement as she twirled around in her beautiful gown. Thank you so much, she exclaimed, grateful to the fairy godmother for her kindness. As Cinderella arrived at the royal ball, everyone turned their heads in astonishment. Prince Charming himself couldn't believe his eyes. Never before had he seen such a beautiful young woman. Throughout the night, Cinderella danced gracefully with the prince. They laughed, talked, and swayed to the music under the sparkling chandeliers. For a while, Cinderella forgot about her worries and simply enjoyed the wonderful evening. But just as the clock struck midnight, Cinderella remembered the fairy godmother's warning and began to rush back home. In her haste, she left one of her glass slippers behind on the palace stairs. As Cinderella ran barefoot across the village, her beautiful dress turned back into rags, 
and her glass slippers into old worn-out shoes. Days passed, and the entire village couldn't stop talking about the mysterious maiden who had stolen Prince Charming's heart. Meanwhile, Cinderella couldn't help but wonder if true love would find her again. In search of the owner of the lost glass slipper, Prince Charming decided to visit every house in the kingdom. When he arrived at Cinderella's house, the wicked stepsisters tried their best to force their feet into the delicate shoe, but it was futile. Just as Prince Charming was about to leave, Cinderella emerged, her face beaming with hope. May I try on the shoe? she asked with a glimmer of anticipation in her eyes. As Cinderella slipped her foot into the glass slipper, it fit perfectly. The prince looked into her eyes and knew instantly that he had found his true love. Overjoyed, he declared Cinderella the love of his life and asked her to be his princess. From that day forward, Cinderella's life transformed completely. She lived happily ever after in a grand palace, surrounded by a loving prince, and never had to endure the cruelty of her wicked stepmother and stepsisters again. And so, little one, remember that even in the face of adversity, kindness and goodness always prevail. Whether it's attending a royal ball or finding true love, believe in your dreams and have faith that one day, just like Cinderella, you will find your own happily ever after. The End Reflection Questions Answer the reflection questions in comment below. How did Cinderella remain hopeful and optimistic despite her unkind family? What lesson can we learn from Cinderella's kindness and goodness? How does the story of Cinderella teach us about believing in our dreams? I hope you all like the story. Never forget to share with your loved ones. And please subscribe the channel. Thank you.